Good evening, Sanju. Thank you very much for joining us today at India M to M and IoT Forum. We are indeed pleased to have Prodab join us as an exhibitor and the forum, and we hope the forum was a fruitful experience for you. May I request you to please briefly introduce yourself and enlighten us a little more about you and your journey thus far? Okay, so uh, uh, I have been associated with the IoT space for some time now, and uh, I've been working across various verticals, uh, be it automotive, transportation, healthcare, home automation, and so on. Again, completed to do with uh, the implementation of IoT and M2M solutions in these in these verticals and enabling traditional solutions to become more smart so that's that's been my experience and uh, with regards to product uh, product has been a very uh, singularly niche focused company uh, mainly working with uh, telecommunication service providers uh, working on connected solutions in this market and so on and uh, when when the iot space started booming we found that to be the right right target area for us and we built uh, quite a bit of capabilities in that area. So we being a very focused system integrator, we felt that our solutions could fit in those wide spaces in the entire value chain. So what, what we do is uh, we are an end-to-end -end solution provider. We have uh, what we call as uh, technology accelerators in various parts of the value chain, be it uh, device enablers, the middleware enablers, uh, services enablers, and so on. So we work for end customers, uh, deploy end-to-end -end solutions by uh, vertically integrating our solution as well as uh, partner solutions for specific customer requirements. So uh, that's uh, that's a very brief uh, overview of what we do at Product in the IoT area. A lot is being said and done about M2M and IoT space, especially with regards to the potential it holds in India. Yeah. So uh, as I mentioned to you again, right? Um, we have been working in the communications area for quite a bit of time and we understand the communications space. So we have the experience of working with very large uh, communication service providers and uh, independent software vendors and so on. So we bring in those expertise and uh, secondly in terms of being a, a, a system integrator in this space, what we do is we focus on the low to mid-market mid segments. And in these segments, if you look at it's a very cost conscious and value conscious market. More than cost conscious, it's a more value conscious market. So what, what we ensure is when we work with the customers, we ensure that we fit a solution which exactly meets the requirements. So we have a solution which is extremely open, interoperable to work with several partner solutions and different kinds of uh, products in the IoT space, thereby ensuring maximum flexibility for our customers. What is your take on it and what do you think the industry has in store for the future? I think it's uh, still evolving in this country. Uh, if you look at how it's, it's evolving, uh, if you look at the, the developed nations and if you look at uh, India, there's still a lot, lot to go both from the industry, private, private companies perspective as well as from the government perspective. Um, I think uh, it's more to do with uh, the fact that there's a general perception that IoT, IoT solutions are normally costly and India being a very frugal market, it, it's about uh, building local solutions based on global perspectives. So normally if you are to bring in uh, IoT solutions, a solution implemented in the US or in Europe directly into India, that's not going to work. So companies need to start looking at what works for the Indian market. For example, if you look at um, a traditional connected car solution, a, tra a traditional connected car solution, the cost of solution which is deployed in the US is, it could be very different from what, could, what it could be in India. And again, in terms of features, in India probably a stolen vehicle tracking would be of greater value than in, in the US wherein convenience features are more valued. And again, if you look at business models as well, uh, if you're looking at a B2C model of monetizing your services, that's probably not going to work in India. You'll have to look at various very different business models which may work in India. Again, from a connected car perspective, you may have to look at uh, 
diagnost for diagnostic and prognostic services, providing the data to dealers and OEMs and thereby making money from these enterprise customers rather than directly from the end users of the car. So it's about identifying the right business models and ensuring you provide very frugal and focused solutions which fit the Indian market. You are here today at India M2M and IoT Forum. It's a very good forum to bring in the entire industry together and considering that uh, the market is evolving in this country, it is important and critical that all, all these organizations come together to you decide on one way of implementing and focusing on the solutions in this country. And um, IoT being a very complex value chain, it is important that for each and every solution deployed, a wide variety of partners need to work together to deploy a single solution. So that is where a forum such as this will, will be of great value. What do you think about the entire platform and how important do you think platforms like these are for the industry? In yeah, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be uh, here listening to stalwarts, stalwarts in industry and looking at the startup ecosystem here. Uh, it's a pleasure coming here and looking forward to being part of your uh, uh, events in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much Sanju for sharing your views. It is an honor for us to have ProDive associated with India M2M Forum 2015. And we look forward to working with you closely and to receiving you in 2016 as well.